This is the Negro Ninja. And I find it ironic, okay, that, you know, dudes will basically mold themselves to be a familiar archetype to these hoes, to, you know, to have steady relationships. Okay, it's just to the point where they just, you know, they fake anyway. Okay, so they know what chicks like. It's either a thug or somebody that's overly proper. You know, like it's just something that they're familiar with. And that's what they try to be. Okay. And this is more than likely one of the main reasons why um, a lot of marriages fail. Okay. Because, you know, they all fake. Okay. Very ironic how they get finessed by these dudes. Okay. That's, that's even worse than the archetype that they're pretending to be. Okay. Like they couldn't sense the evil in them. Okay. And they just get tricked. Okay, but they can tell when you are trying to be something that you're not. They can tell when certain dudes are trying to be something that he is not. Because I remember when I was a kid growing up, you know, and I was not really around the right crowd ever, really. And, you know, some of that stuff can rub off on you. And when a chick saw me doing something that mirrored them, I was checked. They put a stop to that shit. You should be doing it like they, they weren't playing it. OK, now these are the type of dudes that they would probably entertain or whatever. But it's also like they was telling me we're sick. OK, <laughs> we entertain this because we're sick. You know, just thinking back as an adult. OK, they don't want the next dude. Well, some of them don't want the next dude to be like the dude that they fall for. You got to be careful. Very valuable lesson. Seeds planted at such a young age. Well, you know, you know how it is. You got to think. Okay. And, you know, it's certain stuff that they will expect from you, accept from you. All right. There's some stuff that they will not tolerate from you. Okay. They'll tolerate from tolerate it from somebody inferior. He may even get fathered, but he's inferior. But you, on the other hand, you might not do that shit. You're better than that. You know, they'll do you like that. And that's good when you really stop to think about it. Okay, she does not want you to fall down that path, you know, some of these women. Okay, and they can always tell when a real man is being something that he's not. Okay, and they'll just basically tell you, you just be yourself with all that. Like I said, that's when I was a kid, kid. Okay, and as I become older, I'm more mature. You can't tell me shit now, but, um, you know, I'm the man that I am and who I'm supposed to be or whatever. Okay, then you really just start to see this. So a chick can just tell what type of dude you are even when you're silent. Okay. They can just tell what type of dude you are even when you're silent. And when you're doing what you're supposed to do, okay, they respond in ways that's really hard to comprehend. You know, it takes the Holy Spirit to pretty much just tell you what's going on because even in these stories I'm talking about, people don't believe it. They, they, you know, and I'm, I'm going to say people, I know it's some people that can understand it. But you know how when you're doing stuff, it'd be people that's not at the level that should be watching shit, watching it. So they got some, they, they'll hate on you. Okay. And it's okay to just not know something, but don't, don't hate like that. Okay. And I have a park story today that proves the rent from the beginning of this video. Okay. About women basically wanting to see a man do what he's supposed to be doing. Okay. And if you're not necessarily sure what you're supposed to be doing, Think about how women react to what you're doing. Okay. So I'm at the park. Okay. And I just got back, you know, maybe 30 minutes ago. This is like the third draft of this. Um, when, when I get back, what is it? 11.06 now. Point is, I was there earlier. Okay. I got back at 10.30. So um, I go to the park when the sun goes down. So it's lit when the sun goes down on Saturday. It's the first time I was there this late on a Saturday. And everybody's just doing their thing. They're happy. They're pleasant. Had a good day. And it's apparently it got better when they saw me. Oh, there you go. There's the Stretch and Negro. Y'all remember Stretch Armstrong? Well, this is Stretch and Negro. They should have that toy in the store. Okay, just fascinated, you know. And that right there is a sign right there. Okay, that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Now, remember, this is an environment thing as well. And you know I'm going to tell you how this would happen in an environment that is, you know, not healthy for me. Okay, so everybody, you know, men and women, and I'm saying it like that because this is 
a safe haven for straight people because everybody there is straight. I rarely see rainbow zombies up there. Okay, but um, and they you know the dudes up there with their girlfriends and family or whatever, and everybody's just pleasant. So they enjoy it. Oh, just a Negro in this natural habitat. It's not like the TV shows. It's not like Boys in the Hood. It's pleasant to see. Okay. And, you know, at the same time, some people can't, you know, necessarily comprehend it as well. But that's another topic. Okay. They are positive. Okay. So when I get there, you know, just typical stuff. And once again, when you're real, okay, and you're attractive and all this type of stuff, or however, however your appeal is to women, just the point is when you're real, you basically bring out, you know, something in these chicks, whether they are little girls or grown women or old women. OK. And, you know, I just get there. As soon as I get there, I see this little girl. OK. As soon as she sees me, she she basically shows me things that she figured, you know, she basically saying I'm a woman. Like she was feeling like a woman, but she's not a woman. You know, she's a kid. <laughs> Okay, and she just, she had no control of what she was doing. Okay, she just basically does what women do when they find a dude attractive. And she did it in front of her daddy, in front of her mom. Like, she was just, they didn't seem to mind because they're, apparently they're comfortable with me as a Negro. They can just feel what type of person you are. I'm like, well, you know, I mean, I, it happens so much that I know how to respond to it at this point. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Okay, and they just figured, oh, he's a good person. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, basically a little piggy trying to tempt the big bad wolf is what was happening okay i'm like you better run off little piggy okay <laughs> you ain't ready for this big bad wolf okay so um and you know how that is so i just re you know just basically responded how i was supposed to be responded to i'm just like okay yeah that's just what you know girls do and they all do what, what whatever age they are they do the same thing and then not too long after that okay I see this older Indian couple that was about 45, you know, the man and the woman roughly the same age. Okay. And then as soon as the Indian woman saw me, you know, she was just acting fascinated. Now, I was not really doing nothing crazy in particular. I was just still standing up, stretching, you know, just doing typical, simple stuff, at least in my opinion. But who's to say how much she saw before I saw her? But she was just really looking, you know, and... The Indian dude she was with was clearly secure. He wasn't particularly caring. You know, he didn't mind or whatever. He just acted like he, you know, went paying attention. But he saw everything. Didn't phase him. Cool nigga. Okay. And as soon as their back turned me to walk up the stairs, the Indian lady turns around and does like this. You know, like with the mouth expression. You know, I was just, you know, it caught me off guard. And I just... I said, hey, you know, I was acting cool, though, but I just really was didn't know what to do. I said, you know, I'm like, oh, she just gave me a thumbs up and she was doing like that and stuff. I'm like, that shit, they're crazy. OK, it's very crazy. Like I said, people like to see like when you're in a, a, a healthy environment, people like to see men in particular do things that they're supposed to be doing is what I noticed. OK, basically responding to it in the same way. They respond to a sunny day or something, you know, they just out there. It's pleasant. Let me just enjoy the weather. OK, so this type of stuff is deep. Now, going back. Now, let, let me finish this part. Let me see if I can think of this. OK, yeah. So going back to what I was saying about how when I was a kid, if a chick felt that I was trying to mimic somebody that wasn't about shit, I got checked on it. They put a nip that in the bud. You shouldn't be doing it. Like a chick would tell you you were better than that. OK, because apparently you know, dudes are just on different, completely different levels. She don't want no low frequency shit from a high frequency dude. Like I said, women enjoy the energy. People in general will enjoy energy from a positive man, but women in particular, because, you know, men and women, you know, are attracted to one another, you know, in a different way. They, you know, women um, basically benefit from positive energy. Okay, more than anybody from a man okay why do y'all think they put dudes in the friend zone that they should be with instead of just oh well let me, instead of flat out rejecting them they got to lead them on because they still want them in their life you know so just think about it like that okay pleasant you don't even have to talk to these women just do what you're doing is what i'm trying to get across so 
you know, not too long after the Indian lady does what she does. Okay, I noticed white girls, you know, like underage white girls that I saw, you know, not too long after I got to the park, you know, they was about to leave at first. Then I just noticed that they just kept coming around and stuff. Like I could have sworn they left. They just found a way and circled the thing, you know, about five, six or seven times or whatever. And as I was doing my stretches, I noticed I was getting to the park because, you know, people, they probably know who I am anyway. And as soon as I get to the more crazy stretches, you know, because they can get explicit. Okay, I noticed that they decided to sit down on a bench. But they also had three more girls with them. So I think it was about six, maybe even seven. I just know I seen a whole bunch of underage girls just grouped up together over there. Okay, and that was nice looking to them. And you know how something tells you to look in a certain direction. I just noticed that they over there. Doing stuff like that. I'm like, oh, damn. So that is them watching. Okay. So I'm like, I can tell that this is the stretch they're waiting on. So I basically just decided to anchor myself to face them. And I just basically do the stretch. I didn't just do the stretch that they want to see flat out. Okay. Because I never do. It's a build up anyway. Okay. It's a sequence anyway. But I just knew what I was doing. Okay. So I just basically do it slow. You know, just building up to it. You know, and <laughs> like I said, I didn't just do the stretch as fast because I knew they was watching, just letting them enjoy this show or whatever. And once I got to the climax of the stretch, you know, and I look up, and I noticed that they disappeared then. And I was like, I already know what happened. Okay, because I already felt the tingles anyway. I'm like, I can feel your little jelly bean over there tingling. Okay. I can feel your little jelly beans, all right? And I know what's happening. And when chicks disappear, they either go somewhere to where they can watch you from a safer distance. Or if they have to go, they're going home to basically flick the coin box in Super Mario Brothers. Bling, 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 bling. Okay. That's what's going on there. Okay, so it's always just wild wherever I go, especially if I can do things. That showcase my talents is what I'm trying to get across. This nigga's bragging. No, you just got to hear stories. You know, sometimes. Okay. And like I said, people can either get jealous or they can just learn from it. Like, what's the point of being jealous? Okay. When well, you can just get better. You know, so just continuing. Um, then typical stuff goes on. There's just so much stuff. I can't just tell y'all every single detail. It's too much to remember anyway. But um, then I see this bbw okay and i'm not gonna lie to her everybody on here will fuck her even if you're not into big chicks like that I, you will fuck her on some level you'll do something um let me see if i can find the picture that i had earlier from a draft um she was looking something like this you know she was on that level okay she was on that let me see if you i don't know if i so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that should be enough. She was on that level. Okay, but to be honest with you, she looked more like this lady right here. She was shaped like that, but the only thing was she had a stomach. Like, you know, it wasn't sloppier than, but I just felt that her stomach could be a little flatter. You know, like how, like she looked like she clearly likes the look that she have. You know, she works out and all that type of stuff. Like, this lady works out to look like how she looking. She's not just trying to sit there and not control how her fatty is. You know you know what I'm saying? Um, and they would wear, like, a waist trainer to get this shape like that. But this chick clearly didn't. So her stomach kind of stuck out a little bit. But she was on the same level. But her waist just didn't look as impressive as that. But anybody on this thread will hit. I promise you. Okay, because if she angered herself, she looked just like this. So, you know, her hygiene was on point. It looked like she smelled good and everything. She was on that level. Um, well, almost at that level if her stomach was like hers. Okay, and she was walking the dog. And I seen her kind of lingering around anyway. And I figured that she was gone. Then I don't know where she just popped back up. I'm like, well, damn. Then she basically gets on the grass, lining up diagonally. Okay, and before I know it, know it I'm basically in this... Um, this um sandwich of pussy energy because there was a chick on this side so they basically just encasing me in this 
pussy just tingles. So I'm just enjoying it. I'm like, whatever. I ain't got shit to do. Okay. And, you know, both of them was hot anyway. So, you know, so it, was, it was good. So she's just over there just doing what she's doing. And she basically lays down to where I can see her like this right here. So just picture a lady laying on her back facing you and you just see the cleavage, you know, and it was dark at this point. So she had her phone basically lighting it up. I'm like, you, you, I'm like, I know what you're doing and I appreciate what you're doing. Okay. And I think that chick was Latina. So she looked kind of like her somewhat, you know, and she was just basically doing what she was doing, just enjoying whatever the hell was going on over there. Okay. And I get done with my stretches and it's time for me to leave. Okay. But I found an excuse to be there a little longer because she turns around. She turned around and started looking at me. As soon as I got up, she just get up and do like this. She's just looking at me like that. Okay. Now the reason why I'm talking about this is because I really think that this woman just simply didn't know what to do. Like she wanted something to happen. Like I was thinking it's a power struggle, but at the same time I felt as if, she simply just didn't know what to do or something like that. Just what I'm thinking. But at the same time, I'm not going to give her that pass. You know what I mean? Okay. So she just figured it was just like this. This looked like, like a, it was arousal. But at the same time, like, you know what I mean? Like, he, you're going to, you know. And I just decided, you know what? I'm not going to leave yet. I'm just going to drink this last bottle of water. I just sat on the um, rail it just basically started facing her, basically saying the ball is in your court, but not necessarily that blunt. I just wanted to see what she was going to do if I just sat there because she clearly was just, her, her jaw was dropping or whatever. And she just really did not know what to do. Okay, and then she just started wiggling her feet around or whatever. So I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to enjoy this before I finish my water. Okay, and I just go out and throw it away and I see this thick white lady, you know, that was more petite. I would say like muscle type thick. You know, but still had just the right amount of fat on her. So that type of milk. And I was like, damn, I ran right up there. As soon as I got to the thing, you know, basically um, planting the water, showing her shins and all this shit. So I'm just pretty much blown away. And she know that I like her um, Caucasian presence. Well, I can just tell you one of them niggas that like this white milk pussy energy. I'm, saying, I'm like, yeah, you know, it. What, what's up? Okay, but nothing happened with that, though. She, all she did was just basically um, flirt silently because her uh, family was up there. So, basically, what I'm getting from this is, okay, not only do women like for you to be in your natural Negro presence, your natural Negro actions and aura and all this type of stuff, but they simply just don't know how to respond to certain things as well, okay, that's really what it is. Like they want, like they want stuff, but they just don't know how to respond to it. You really have to be familiar. Okay, it's all about being familiar. That's why these dudes pretend to be archetypes that they're not, or they will hide the archetype that they are, in order to have consistent relationships. You know, you have to really be familiar to these women. Okay, you have to be, but you already know how I'm finna roll. I'm doing what I do. Okay, now let's go back to the environment point that I forgot to mention. Now, had all this happened in an environment that I found was very toxic, it would just be people around me just trying to join all day, you know. Just be people just trying to join all day, you know. Some people simply hate for high frequency. Some people love it. Okay, it's like I was saying with holes. That give you low frequency responses for high frequency action. They the same thing. Okay. They the same thing. All right. And any women that's worth something to a degree. Will at least try to put you into the mindset to where you can just radiate your high aura or your high power level. All right. And I guess that's all I got to say for this rent. Let's see what else I got. Okay. Um... Yeah, but that seems to be the the whole message, you know. Being in your element, okay, doing what you're supposed to do and how it affects people around you, even if they're not talking to you, they just respect it. Okay, maybe even low-key blessing you while you're doing your stuff. 
And that's all I got to say for this rant. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.